up guys, the Fighting Therapist here, and we are back in Montreal, back in my clinic. So, nice, nice uh, AT table right here. We got Gustavo, the skeleton in the back. Happy to be home. Really big fuss kind of coming in here with uh, the vid situation, but we made it safe, still jet lagged, but we have to get back on the training plan. And since I have nothing really coming up, we're gonna stick to roughly around GPP, so general physical preparedness training. And for today's video, I kind of want to bring you guys along on what that entails, what's the point of building your work capacity, ways for you guys to accomplish this, and how to actually put this into a training regimen that you guys can follow no matter what sport you're kind of in at the moment. Now, if you want a just better description of what work capacity is, you guys can click the link right up here. I did do a video in the past on just work capacity on its own. It's a quick four to five minute video. But with that said, we're gonna jump into the workout. I'm gonna put our barefoot shoes on, do a little bit of prehab, and then get into the actual workout for today. So what we're focusing on in the workout now is, I just came off a flight. I was just sitting down for about 14 hours in the first flight, got a nice layover, and then did another flight back home. We're jet lagged, and we just want to open up the body, and we want to get it to move. So personally for me, I noticed that my whole right side was getting a little cramped up. I got a little bit of some sciatic tightness on the right side, so that's what we're going to handle. Also, we didn't get much mobility in those 30 hours, so the whole goal for this little warm-up that we're doing is going to just pop in some mobility work. We're going to pop in some deep tissue work just to break those little adhesions and open up and get a lot of just blood flow. That's the whole goal of what we're doing right now for the morning. Another big thing that I love to work on and is probably one of the best things to do is dorsiflexion for your ankle. So getting your ankle to bend like that and that big toe, really getting that big toe to get as much extension as possible, especially if you're a fighter or if you're any type of athlete where you just need to run or push up or explode really off that big toe. We want to improve that mobility. And to finish it off, the workout for today is just going to be some sled and then also some battle ropes for shoulders. And then we're going to do a little bit of rehab, prehab for the shoulder rotator cuffs and for the hip. Probably going to push around, let's say roughly about 20 to 30 minutes on sled, and about 10 to 15 minutes on the battle ropes. And then prehab and rehab, we're going to keep it nice and simple. We're going to do about three sets to about 10 reps on each arm. And same thing for the hip. And with that said, let's get into the workout. So we just finished the first part of the workout, which is about 20 minutes of sled work. Put about 50% of my body weight, so I'm about 220 pounds. I put about 110 pounds on the sled total. And the purpose of that is to, again, emphasize on work capacity, which falls into four ways that we can actually increase work capacity as a whole. So we're gonna go through the first two, and then we're gonna jump onto the battle ropes, do another about 10 to 15 minutes, and then finish with the last two. The first one is just add more cardio, especially when you're in the off season. Just adding something that's a low intensity, something like this. The best bet would be swimming, but I don't really have a pool available to me. But just adding cardio to just gradually increase your tank. That's something that's low impact, very easy on the joint, and isn't very taxing on the body. The second one is just gonna be do more sets. So let's say an example, right now you can deadlift about 100 kilos. Let's say you can do about three sets, three reps at 100 kilos. Say we take another set and we just do one repetition. So instead of us adding more weight to that 100 kilos, which you clearly can't do because you could only do three sets of three with that weight, we're gonna add a fourth set and we're just gonna do one rep and with that one rep it's gonna be a lot less taxing more manageable when it comes to stress and next time you go to the gym you're gonna do that extra set with two reps and then three reps and now look now you're at four sets of three then you do that with another set to five 
Next thing you know, you're doing five sets of three reps. Now you can actually go back down to three of three, add maybe five to 10 kilos, and then repeat that process. That's gonna be able to allow you to recover better, manage stress, and then adapt. Those are two. Now we're gonna go in the battle ropes, do another 10, 15 minutes, and we're gonna finish with the last two things you guys can do to increase work capacity. So we finished the workout, did about 10 minutes of battle ropes straight. But with that said, we got two more things that you guys could do to help increase your work capacity. The third one is going to be just adding more reps. So now let's say that you can do, I don't know, five sets of one rep of a certain weight. Let's just take a kettlebell, for example, a kettlebell swing. You can do five sets of one repetition with a 70 pound kettlebell. Now when you do it again, all you're going to do is add one more rep on each of those sets. Once you work your way up to five reps, six reps, or seven reps, grab a heavier weight, and then repeat that same process just by adding reps. And for number four, and the final thing that you guys can actually do to just help increase your work capacity, are functional finishers. So what this is gonna do is not gonna add too much cardio to the workout. It's gonna be short in intensity, which is not gonna disturb the signal of your strength training. And what you would do is you would take something like we did today, let's say sled or battle rope or ski erg or the assault bike, and you could do something like 60 seconds on on the battle rope, 60 seconds on on the bike or the ski erg, whatever it may be, take a little break and then just repeat that for five to 10 sets. Now, with all that said, these are just certain guidelines and tactics that you guys can utilize in your workout plan to help increase your work capacity, which again is just your body's ability to perform and positively tolerate training at a given intensity and duration. So I hope that information was helpful, guys. And if you guys got any questions, please let me know in the comments below. And if you haven't, please like, subscribe, and click that notification bell so you guys do know when these videos come out. Also, let me know, do you guys do some GPP training? Do you guys work on your work capacity. Maybe you guys have some really fun finishers that you guys like to do within your training program. Again, add all of that in the comments down below. But I hope this helps and I hope this video gave you guys some information as well maybe to give you just some ideas for you to add within your own training regimen. And yeah, I hope you guys had fun. See you guys in the next video for The Fighting Therapist. Ciao.